project to develop a material handling system by integrating proximity sensors and pneumatic operations by using Raspberry Pi microcontroller. We are emphasized on how we tackle the task given and explain truly in details on how we solve the project given. From this project, we are able to write a coding script to control the material handling system partially as well. Raspberry Pi microcontroller is a good as it has a relative low cost compared to other microcontroller. So let's go to start our project by wiring connections. Hi, my name is Andrew. Hi, my name is Wen Bing. Hi, my name is Yisoo. Hi, my name is Ipong. We, we are, are from Group B2. So this is our material handling project. final coding of our ping pong project. First, we will import the rpi.gbio module by import rpi.gbio as gbio. Then, we will import sleep from time which allow the time relay. Then, we will from system import acid which we will take the function of acid. Then, we will set up the BCM gbio numbering by gbio.setup by gbio.set mode. GPL.BCM. After that, we will set the coding with the respective GPL pin, which the pin span will refer to the sensor, pin 11 will be referred to the left sensor, pin 25 will re refer to the right valve 1, pin 24 will refer to the right valve 2, pin 18 will refer to the left valve 1, and Pin 14 will refer to left valve 2. Relay A will be connected to pin 17 while relay B will be connected to pin 32. And at the same time, we will connect a black switch to pin 6. So after that, we will set the left and right relay off initially. Then we will set the value of pin 6 into the input value. We will set the variable n as 0 and we will open a while loop. The input i and j will re refer to pin 10 and 11 respectively. So if the switch output is true, which means that the black switch is pressed, the output of press is sent to the terminal. Then the conveyor will be initiated, which the conveyor will be moved from the direction of left to right. So, we will set another if loop to check if the right sensor is activated. So, we will print out yes to the terminal if the sensor is activated. At the same time, the relay A and B will be off and the right valve 1 will be extended. Then, it will be wait for 1 second. So it will be followed by right valve 1 retracts and sleep for 1 second. After this, right valve 2 will extend and also wait for 1 second. It will be followed by right valve 2 retracts and the first ping pong ball will be collected while the program will be rest for 1 second as well. After this, 
The right valve one will be extended and wait for one second, followed by right valve one retract and wait for one second. Then the right valve two will be extended and wait for one second. After this, right valve two will retract and the second ping pong ball is collected while the program will be rest for 5 seconds. After all of this is done, we have collected two ping pong balls and the conveyor will continue to move forward. So, if the left sensor is activated, we will bring another yes to the terminal. And we will set a function of n equals to n plus 1. And if the function remainder is odd, the relay A and B will be off. Then, the left one, one will be extend and sleep for 1 second. It will be followed by left one, left one, one retract and sleep for 1 second as well. After all of this, left one, 2 will be extended and wait for 1 second. Well, after this, left one, 2 will retract and the third timber ball is collected and the program will be sleep for 1 second. After this, Left valve 1 will be extended and sleep for 1 second, but left valve 1 will continue to retract for and sleep for 1 second. The, it, will, it, it will be continued by the left valve 2 extended and sleep for 1 second, and left valve 2, 2 will be continued to retract and sleep for 1 second after the fourth ping pong ball is collected. After this, the conveyor will be moved in reverse direction and it will be activated. The whole loop will be continued until all the 8 ping pong balls are collected or else the conveyor will print no to the terminal and will on for wait for one second if the sensor is unactivated. The other condition is if the black switch is not pressed which will the wording of no press will be activated to the terminal. It will be also wait for one second. For the metal carrying system to collect the eight pinpoint balls. So the eight pinpoint balls are collected with three basic uh, components such as the uh, sensor, the relay to move the conveyor belt, and also the four valve. So after the code is generated, we will first turn on the electric supply for what is for the movement of the conveyor belt and next is for the PLC as a power supply to the entire material handling system. Then we will turn on the air pressure to supply pressure to the four valves. We have four valves. The first valve is the 3 2 non closed valve and the other three valves are the three uh, 5 2 non open valve. So we will have two relay, relay A and also relay B. Relay A controls the um, turning on and off of the movement for this conveyor belt while relay B changes the direction of the conveyor belt. The PLC acts as a power source. What we do is that we connect the power supply directly to the um, breadboard and also the breadboard to the entire circuit. Where uh, every other uh, connection for the power supply is all linked to the breadboard itself. Uh, there is sensor 1 and sensor 2 which is A and B. Uh, both are have three wires which is black, brown and blue. For the black one, it is uh, connected to the breadboard where connected to the resistor. So that it is connected to GPIO. Then it connected to the other resistor before it connected to the ground back. And the second wire is the brown one. The brown wire connected to the power supply. And the third one is the blue. Uh, blue wire connected to the uh, ground. Uh, I'll explain about the, about the connection. So the first one is GPIO connected to the valve one. And GPIO 2 connected to the valve 2 and 3 connected to the valve 3 and the last one is connected to the valve 4 and this uh, GPIO connected to the relay A and 
also connected to the ground so it's connected to the ground so here is a uh, input for the lead and uh, this is for the ground and the last one is connected to the lead player for the lead So as Yusuf has explained about the GPL pins, so the GPL pins will be connected to the Raspberry Pi, where the Raspberry Pi controls the sensors, the relays, and also the valve. Well,